Ay. Ezekiel's wife dies. Oh yeah, we just had the passing of Prince Philip. Anyway, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, with one blow I am about to take away from you the delight of your eyes. Yet do not lament or weep or shed any tears. <coughs> Groan quietly. Do not mourn for the dead. Keep your turban fastened and your sandals on your feet. Do not cover your mustache and beard or eat the customary food of mourners. So I spoke to the people in the morning and in the evening my wife died and the next morning I did as I had been commanded. Then the people asked, won't you tell us what these things have to do with us? Why are you acting like this? So I said to them, The word of the Lord came to me, Say to the people of Israel, This is, the, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I am about to desecrate my sanctuary, the stronghold in which you who take pride, the delight of your eyes, the object of your affliction, the sons and daughters you left behind will fall by the sword, and you will do as I have done. You will not cover your mustache or beard or eat the customary food of mourners. You will keep your turbans on your heads and your sandals on your feet. You will not mourn or weep, but will waste away because, or away in, your sins and groan among yourselves. Ezekiel will be a sign to you. You will do just as he has done. When this happens, you will know that I am the Sovereign Lord. Yes, you are. And you will... Son of man, on the day I take away their stronghold, their joy and glory, and their joy and glory, the delight of their eyes, <coughs> their heart's desire, and their sons and daughters <coughs> as well. On that day, I, a fugitive, will come to tell you the news. At that time, your mouth will be open, you will speak with him, and will no longer be silent, so you will be a sign to them, and they will know that I am the Lord. Yes, you 